Welcome to Movie Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about writing covalent compound formulas. Covalent compounds are composed of two metals. You can find the nonmetals on the right side of the periodic table. Covalent compound formulas use prefixes. The prefixes go like this. Mono is one, di is two, tri is three, tetra is four, penta is five, hexa is six, hepta is seven, octa is eight, nana nine, and deca ten. It will help you if you memorize these. Let's get started with a couple of formulas and I'll go through some of the rules. Up first is CO. Rule number one, with the first element, if it does not have more than one, or in other words, it's, if it's just one, you just say the element. You don't say monocarbon. And then for the second one, you do add the prefix. So this will be carbon monoxide. Up next is N2O. Now we have two nitrogens, so we will use a prefix of di. So it will be dinitrogen monoxide because you only have one oxygen. Also notice that instead of all of oxygen for the second term, you use ide, I-D-E. Next, you have N2O3. So let's put all the rules together. You have dinitrogen because you have two nitrogens, and then you have three oxygens, so it will be tri, and then you add the I-D-E. So it will be trioxide, dinitrogen trioxide. Now let's work it the other way. Up first, we have SO2. That will be sulfur because you only have one of those, and it's the element name, so it'll be sulfur. Then you have two oxygens, so it'll be dioxide. Next, you have PH3, and that will be phosphorus trihydride. And finally, you have CH4, which is carbon tetrahydride. So there we go, naming covalent formulas. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.